Good morning and welcome to beautiful downtown Key West, Florida. It's a bright and sunny January day going up to 72 degrees today. That's why people come here in the winter. My name is John Pars, realtor for the Keller Williams office here in Key West, Florida. Been a realtor down here for approximately 20 years. Today we're going to talk about the single family home sales in the Old Town area for all of 2020. I've owned this property since 1984. It was built in the 1920s. All uh, Dade County Pine have kept it natural like that. So it's a real pleasure to uh, live in this house and in this neighborhood. I live in the, uh, the original uh, Old Town area of Key West. The word for 2020 sales down here in Old Town is excellent. We had a slightly down first quarter a lousy second quarter. The third quarter started the recovery and the fourth quarter roared. From September through December, each month got stronger and stronger and stronger. So that even though at the end of August, we were 32% behind in sales, by the end of the year, we were only two less than the record that was set last year, 2019. Additionally, the average single family home sale price this year, a million two eighty four, exactly the same as last year. So in essence, we hardly skipped a beat. I think that that is a reflection of the desire of buyers to live here in Key West and or at least own property. Viewing Key West as a safe haven, a place from which they can work remotely and yet travel anywhere in the United States because we have a very vibrant uh, system coming into Key West International Airport. Key West as, as a society, a comfortable place to live, free from many of the pressures that uh, dominate uh, metropolitan the United States. The winners uh, this year as far as uh, configuration style, bed and bath style here in Key West were the same as they have been since the bottom in 2009. Two bedroom, two bath, and three bedroom, two bath continued to be the most popular configuration of home sales here in the Old Town area. The average sale price for a two bedroom, two bath home was a little over 900,000, and the average sale price for a three bedroom, two bath home was a little over 1.1 million. Those figures are, were pretty much the same as last year, no significant drop off or increase from 2019. There was 142 sales overall, 47% of those sales were in cash. And that goes from 350,000 up to multi-million. So cash sales continue to dominate on a nationwide basis. Cash sales usually top out at about 25%. Historically, cash sales are a reflection of stock markets. People who are uh, successful money managers convert stock to cash, come down here, write a check, and that's done. When you have 47% of the people writing a check for property, if the market turns sour, they're not leaving town. They recognize that QS is a very viable long-term investment. And for many other people who come here, they realize that QS is a safe environment. You can work remotely here without any difficulty. And uh, so Key West is a very desirable market to be in. The Old Town area of Key West comprises about a third of the entire island. And yet, it has six distinct little neighborhoods in it. Each of those neighborhoods has its own characteristics, architectural style, price points, etc. The two neighborhoods that fared the best this year, as far as an increase in the number of sales and an increase in average sale price, were the Casa Marina area, which uh, sits on the southeast corner of the island, an area called Old Town South, some people also refer to as the Cuban neighborhood, because in the early 1900s, uh, the Cuban neighborhood was where cigars were being manufactured, a business dominated by, by Cubans who had come to the United States, and specifically Key West, to establish the cigar industry. And so uh, these two neighborhoods, Cos Marina and Old Town South, saw the greatest increase in the number of sales and the highest uh, increase in the average sale price. In summary, the recovery overall in the town has been very uneven. Some businesses have been successful, some have fallen by the wayside, it's been very difficult. But for real estate in Key West, with realtors, lenders, surveyors, appraisers, inspectors, 
And now that properties have been sold, many people who buy property here put another couple hundred thousand into that property to give it their flavor. So in 2021, a lot of renovation oriented type of uh, businesses, roofers, painters, etc., will succeed. Again, my name is John Pars. I'm a realtor with the Keller Williams office here. I hope you're having a bright and sunny day wherever you're at. And if you're not, come on down.